so yeah, my little girl, she made a uh, chicken and green beans, potatoes, and carrots meal last night. Dude, it was killer. <laughs> it was killer. Yeah. All right, we're here at J&J &J Tackle, guys. We're going to pour a few plastics and kind of give you kind of the lowdown of how much work is involved in these plastics, so... Now your these are your molds. Why oh, certainly. These are core shot rods. There we go. We can get a little better look at molds there. Core shot rods. So that when you when you're dumping in it only goes half a half is that what that does or nope it just makes the shell so that you can shoot through the tail oh okay all right well there's a lot of us out here that have absolutely no idea how much work is involved in this <laughs> I'd be surprised no oh, i know it <laughs> i know it Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just presses it all in there and keeps it yeah. nice and tight. And yeah, you can clamp the whole thing. And... Yeah. Nice. Be a little bit. Heat up the plastic. plasticizer. Is yeah. that what it's called? Plasticol. Plasticol. Back up there. A little mix and degas once it's up to count. Now, how hot is that plastic sole got to be? 350 degrees. Whew. Don't Change touch. No. You'll notice why I have so many shirts that are junk. Right, right. <laughs> I know I had to make sure that I didn't wear a shirt that had the armpits <laughs> tore out. <laughs> See, a lot of people burn themselves with this stuff, and it just right. it surprises me. I've been doing it for eight years and still haven't. Uh, he can. I'm not sure it's 350. It don't look like it yet. 320? 320. I see when you pull it out, the top of it kind of looked like it was like almost solid. And if the top stays as more of a gel phase. Yeah, then yeah. You mix your hardeners into it because the hardeners will settle. The heat. Yeah. Is this another type of heating system? This is a shooting star. So this one here, actually, I can put, I'd say, ten cups in each side, and then you just shoot straight out of it as dual shotters. Okay. One as a single shot. All right. Right on where you need. Yep. I'll wait out for a minute just to let the bubble come up and the heat the top drop down a little bit so that we can add our flake. Okay. All the bubbles will disappear in it. Is that what you're waiting nope. on? I'll put it in here and degas it. Oh. But I want to wait until I get my flake into it. Oh, okay. Degas then. Yep. Creates a negative pressure, pulls the bubbles out through it. Oh, okay. That way, when you pour your plastics, you don't have no air pockets. You might have a few, but I mean, it ain't going to be major. Right, right. You can tell as it cools, the bubbles rise. Yep, yep. Okay. <laughs> it's 
So we're putting in silver hologram. It's going to be called glitter. Or we're gonna it's going to be called Skittles. 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 <laughs> it is glitter. It is glitter. <laughs> Wait, glitter, it's all the same. Yeah. yeah. We can put a bunch in to make it really saturated. Nice. Yeah, then we'll definitely stand out in the sunlight. You need that chartreuse or tail on the end of it? And yeah. She'll pop. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> yeah. We'll have to shoot one to make sure, but we'll put her in the degasser and get the bubbles out of her. Shaking it because if you don't, you'll have really small bubbles and they'll go up and they won't create a big bubble and they'll just overflow. Uh oh. So when you shake it, it kind of works those bubbles together and gets them bigger. So yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So this running, it's like what, a vacuum? Yep. There's a reverse vacuum, holds negative pressure. Okay. Definitely does not look like a cheap setup. Looks like there's, you know, I mean, it did, it, it literally, it looks professional and. Make sure the bubbles off the top and popped. Yeah. Stir it up and get all that plate back up inside. And then we'll grab the injector. We'll make some Skittles. Skittles it is. Now how do you know when it's full like that? You'll feel the pressure. Yeah. Can't push down anymore. Well, you don't want to. Right, right, <laughs> right. Yeah, you can you can feel the back pressure come yeah. back up. But then you have your little air vents on the side that breathe your air out so that you don't get air trapped in them. Yeah, yeah. Cool beans. We'll shoot a few bodies and then we'll shoot tails. Yeah. Because I got some chartreuse over there that we can try it out with. And now, are we doing this in the paddle tail or? We can. Or is this, was this the minnow? This is uh, the tea tail. The tea tail. Oh, yep. yeah. We're going to do Yeah. That. The ones I called, I called it more of a hammer. They're here, there, there. Yeah. They were more of the, I wanted to call them the hammer. Tea tail. I call it the hammer. Different strokes for different folks. Why, certainly. It's a little warm yet. Yeah. Not terrible. I'll pull these out. A lot of color there. Yeah, there is. Yes, there is. I don't know if we should saturate a little bit more. What do you think? What do you think? I don't think. That's the problem. I'm afraid if we saturate with more of the Skittle, I think if we put more in there, I think will be overabundant. Okay. 
Yeah. You want to clear it? Yeah. Also now, now you got a hole to shoot down through, right? Yep. Ah. The guy that knows how to put them on the hook is learning how. <laughs> they ain't learning how to pour them, but kind of get a better idea of how it's done and how much work is involved. That is definitely cool, though. Yeah. See, that core shot will really pop those colors out. Yeah. And I'm sure them things are just hot as a booger, too, the, the mold. Hmm. Oh, they're not at all. Nope. Now, if I sat here and shot them for an hour and a half or so, yeah, these ones would get a little warm. Yeah. Like, these ones here, you shoot them four times, four or five times, they start getting a little smoky. Yeah. But you're also creating a very large bait. Right. Cool. See? Yeah. I don't know if you can really tell the color on them. Yeah, sometimes you gotta put a little back to it. Oh yeah, look at that. It's just flashing in the light. Imagine that down in the water right now. <laughs> I can sit here and hold this all day long. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I mean just yeah. They're just bang, 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 bang. Put it there for a reheat. That is so cool. That is, that is, that's, that's cool as shit, dude, how that works. You're getting two, four, six, eight, a dozen out of one four, out of one bowl. Yep. Cool. Now, if I had more bowls, we'd be able to put more in pack, be able to right. shape her, but, right. I mean, it all comes with time. Right, right. Yeah, you can't stop, start at the top of the ladder. No. Yeah, there's all kinds of color. <laughs> yeah, that is. I, I think that I think that amount of Skittles in it is is spot on. I think that'll work good. Good old rain. It rained on me all the way up here too. Not wearing the proper PPE, just let everybody know. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I have my sweatshirt on, but I'm sweating. Right. Yeah, this stuff's pretty warmish. Looks like it cools down pretty quick. Not bad. I mean, usually people say one to two minutes, wait one to two minutes to get them out of the mold. I'm, yeah. I'm just impatient. I just right. get stuff out right away, get it hung. And right. Move on to my next step. Stubs. That just came out of the your rod, right? Yep. Wow. That is so cool. So cool. There. Look at that. You can just see the different colors in there. Just boing, 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 boing. That'll stand out like a sore thumb. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that in a second, my glaive is over there right now, though. We'd be able to warm up the other one and kind of. That's all right. We're 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 getting, yeah. We'll be just fine. So this is like all your leftovers. So you can reheat that. Yep. Nice. Yeah. 15 pails under there or so. Oh, wow. Of remelt stuff. Yeah. From dual shot colors that I just can't. Yeah. Now it's all pretty on the floor. <laughs> <laughs> it is, ain't it? Look at all them jig heads unpainted. <laughs> oh. They got a spinner on them. Yeah, Unpainted jig heads drive me crazy. I want to take them all home. Oh, yeah? I love jigs. Oh, these are all hooks. These are all 
all kinds of hooks back there. There's all kinds of mold back there. There's all kinds of molds down there. I, I tried that pouring jig heads and it just, it was not for me. I did not enjoy it. So I just buy them and paint them. Look at that. And this is where it gets rough. Hmm. Try and get that rod back out of there. Yeah, I didn't oil them. Oh. Thought I would have had enough oil to run two times, but it wasn't. <laughs> Got to oil her pretty much every time then, huh? Yep. Usually, if they sit in that thing long enough, they'll yeah. take on that oil, and then you don't have to do it all the time. But right. Yeah, I guess you know if you're putting that hot plastic on them, mm -hmm. it's gonna suck that oil right out of them. Come on. Oily enough to slip my fingers, but not oily enough to pull out. Right. actually just discussing with the wife this morning about doing 10 of these molds you can go buy more and yeah you buy 10 of them you're a thousand or more deep yeah 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 they're not cheap I, I know that I mean even to the molds that you pour jigs on. I mean, they were, you know, 30, 40 bucks. Mm -hmm. Depending on what kind of jig head you want. Right. Just a simple round jig head, you know. Yep. Do it molds. I've been on there several times. And, you know, when I decided, I, I even had the, the, I had molds and, and the kit and everything to do it. But, yeah. No. No. Time consuming. That and then how hot it was and burn your fingers and yeah. Melting down the lead, getting the lead clean and the smell. The smell, yes. And that's what I was worried about this, you know, the smell and this ain't too bad. I should be running the fan, but Yeah. Yeah, this ain't bothering me a bit. This one's phthalate free, so you shouldn't have any issues. Oh, okay. I didn't see you do that last time. Oh, yeah. Just pop it into a little bit and shoot another. Now, this stuff you could just put right back in your yep. your cup and, and just keep refill it. Yeah. yeah but as long as you don't overheat, you want this color. Yeah. Nice. And this is your color here. Is that what? Yeah, these are these are colorants. You got highlight powders, pearl powders. Yeah. Scents. More colorants, glit or glitter flakes. See, and I was in tattoo, and we had bottles like this. Squirt top. Yeah. Ink bottles. Yep. <laughs> I had an uncle that had a tattoo shop, and I used to work the front door. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> it was fun. The people you meet there, huh? Right, right. <laughs> now you're starting to sound like Mike Wolf. Oh, now. The people you meet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs>
I mean, even if you wanted to do uh, like chartreuse belly, you do this top or belly. Yeah. And dual inject. Huh. I think every single one of my molds, except for like the minnow twisters. Yeah. I can't dual inject them because it'd be side to side. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, every mold. You could have this monstrosity. Oh, Lord, yeah. Look like something you'd use for, like, uh, musky fishing that big. Oh, yeah. Wait, I touched that bottle of blue. Holy buckets. Yeah. Got my hands dirty. Oh. Damn. Catastrophic calamity. And I'm getting it on your mold, too. Oh, yeah, shit, I'm all over it, dude. <laughs> See? A blue. <laughs> See? Get, alcohol here if you get, get, get that, that guy out. off out of my shop. <laughs> Trust me, I did worse the other day. I dropped the bottle and it hit here and squirted it all the way across. <laughs> but I'm looking at the bucket. Is that stuff flammable too? No. Well, oh, it is. is one. Yeah. But, yeah, I mean, it'd take a little bit to get it flammable because I can take the torch and burn the bubbles off the top. Yeah, right, right, yeah. Let's not say burn, I guess. Right. We sear. Yeah, see, now the rods come out nice. Mm -hmm. The biggest thing is, like, you, you grin and grunt because you don't want the plastic to rip when you do it, you know? Right, right. Yeah, because then it's just a wasted pour then. Right. Look, guy, quit touching stuff. <laughs> then you can even do shirts, right? Yep. I actually got a few shirts in there that I was going to have done, but we haven't made it right that far with what's been going on and how this has gone lately. Running out. Yes, yes, I am using Pam cooking spray. Yeah, I'd, I'd seen that, but hey. It works. Yeah, it works. They don't discolor them. Right. I mean, I could use worm oil, but sometimes that makes air bubbles in there, too. Yeah. Well, as many as you shot, I mean, you got to the point, you know where what you can use and what you can't. Right. There we go. Come on, come out of my fingers. Damn rain, boy. We need it. Ain't no doubt we need the rain. Just don't want a bunch. <laughs> Not at one time, no. No, because I kind of live. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you do. She's flooded most of the times that we've had rain. 2016 was a crazy one, though. Get all the way in the house? No. Never made it on the first floor. Just yeah. In the basement. Yeah. And it came up and the steps out front. It was right below the steps out front there. And yeah. Right below the steps out back here. <laughs> so it, she came up a little ways. I've been through a couple floods. Not as fun as they seem. No, they're not. Not at all. It was fun driving through it. Don't get me wrong. <laughs> Turn around, don't drown. In a minute. Yep. <laughs> you said mud hole? 
I lived in a trailer home right next to a creek, and it rose up on us one time. And I started unloading everything that was on the floor up on the, some bunk beds I had. Got all my good personal things up there, and the rest of the stuff I threw in the back of the pickup and took off. I don't think we picked up anything because it had the way it flooded in 2008. They said that was higher, but it seemed higher in 2016 here. Yeah, but uh, it was about three foot from our main level. Yeah. See, I'm holding pressure just to make sure that those shells, when you get them out, they don't have big dents in them. Or anything. Right, right, right. The reason I do that is so it don't slide. Yeah. Yeah, because it ain't going to stick to the table. Nope. We've gotten what one, two, three, four. So three shots, and we're still working on that first pour you got there, or first bottle of. Yeah. Now do these things get hot? Yeah. Yeah. That yeah. Gets pretty warm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Especially when you're working with this one or this one. Right. Yeah, no wonder you still got a glove on. Yeah. Just grabbing stuff, moving it around. Yeah. I'll take it off to get everything out of there, but other than that, yeah, I try to keep it on as much as possible. Right. With this thing, they actually make an injector that does like uh, smaller top color, bottom color, larger. Yeah. So it actually splits it out differently. Nice. Crazy, crazy colors. Wow, that's not light making it through it. Woo! <laughs> right? <laughs> Can you do like the fire tiger? That's what that was supposed to be. Yeah. It just kind of bled through. Okay, I see it now. Now that, yeah. If you look okay. at these. Yeah, yeah. The only difference is my fire tiger, I put a pearlescent in the center. Yeah. So it gives it more flash to that. Right. Movement. Yep, Logan's missing out. You don't get to see all the pretty colors. No, you don't. <laughs> I don't make a lot of core shots, but when I do, it takes time. Well, yeah, yeah. I ain't no rush, dude. I'll get a little bit of oil from the mold and stuff yeah. through the breathers. Yeah. Do not push this button prematurely. <laughs> <laughs> Right? <laughs> Might end up with a missing extremity. <laughs> that might hurt. It, it does. <laughs> <laughs> I think I got it 
that set at like 320 PSI. Yeah. It ain't moving. Nope. The things. Yeah. Just looking at you, you can just see the dollar signs on it. <laughs> I'm not kidding you, dude. I mean, yeah. So that the wife might watch this. <laughs> it's easier to ask for forgiveness than it is to ask for permission. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a gray line in there, though. <laughs> there is. There is. As long know. as you don't do it too often. <laughs> <laughs> I got to wipe it home, too. I know how that works. <laughs> Trust me. Hey, I just went and bought a boat. <laughs> right? And that's liable to happen this year, too. Mm. We're waiting on that big tax dollar to get here. Get her a new vehicle. <coughs> Looks like you get at least one more out of that, couldn't you? Yep. We'll shoot some tails into them. Yeah. They've got orange over there, so if we want to try orange in it. You're the master. I'm, I'm just I kicking I'm not back. the masturbator, okay? <laughs> well... <laughs> That's just weird how you can pour the body like that, then come back in and hit the tail of it. Yep. And they'll just adhere. It takes a little bit of heat. You'll see the tail. I have to shoot a little bit warmer. Yeah. Make it stick in there a lot so better. So that way it heats up the body part of it. Yep. Cool beans. I'm looking at molds that you can actually take this, shoot just the tail first. And then you can take a brass slide, slide it, and shoot the body into the other side so that you do it within four seconds of each other to adhere. Yeah. Well, that mold's about 2300 bucks. Oh, Lord. That's a lot of plastic cells there. Yeah. Yeah. I bet a couple. It's a little bit warm. Don't worry, I 